So hey there everybody is always welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich. I'm the channel host and normally we're talking about building our small drone businesses and our small imaging businesses. So we talk about the drones that we use, the software for the drones that we use, and the software and hardware in our studio on a regular basis to keep you up to date with different ideas. Now if you've been hiding under a rock you might have missed out on the fact that uh, there's a lot of anger directed toward Adobe right now um, for their uh, end user license agreement and they've backpedaled some things and also the fact that the Federal Trade Commission is actually going over Adobe um, for its practices as well making it hard to get off of their creative cloud system apparently so a lot of people have been talking about it and a lot of people have been looking up you know trying to find alternatives and one of the big alternatives is in fact Affinity Photo 2, which I've had for a while. I've had Affinity Photo for quite some time, and I've used it for some editing and played around with it. But as Adobe keeps pushing and pushing um, in the wrong direction for creatives out there, people are looking for alternate software. So over the past couple of weeks, I've been doing a small series on utilizing um, Affinity Photo 2. There's a lot of great tutorials out there, so you don't just have to hang out with us. We just do quick short ones and we try to keep all this under 15 minutes. So I was thinking as I was putting together another video a few days ago for, uh, for my patrons over on Patreon, um, it struck me Lightroom. So why haven't I fully switched over to Affinity Photo since I've had it for years and I've used it for certain purposes? Why not just make the switch? And it struck me, well, there's one big reason. Since 2007 or 2008, I have been using Lightroom from Adobe, so Adobe's Lightroom, to manage all of my images and manage some of the projects that we're doing. So whenever we're going out and doing new projects and uh, doing new construction sites for clients, we will have still images for them as well. And so we put those still image libraries together and we bring them over to Lightroom to easily find what we need. And if I go up and look at my file here and drop down, open recent, as you can see, I have a fair number of, uh, of different um, catalogs over the years. I actually have catalogs going back to 2008. Um, with a lot of my Grand Canyon and White Pocket images up in the Page, Arizona area. So I keep very well organized thanks to Adobe's Lightroom. Now, unfortunately, the folks over at, um, at Affinity Photo do not have any kind of digital asset management. So they call that DAM, digital asset management. So that is one of the things that... Um, has held me back from fully switching over and fully diving into Affinity Photo. Of course, I am diving into it now so that I can bring information to all the folks on my channel. So we'll be doing more little tutorials, but I wanted to put this little idea in your head. You know, what are you going to use to manage your images? Do you have an alternative solution that sounds great? I know that there are several other editors out there, you know, on one and, um, the folks over at Luminar and, you know, different uh, different editors that have different features. And, you know, in all of my time doing photo editing since uh, since 2008, um, you know, I've been utilizing Lightroom. But I do know there are some other tools out there and there's not a specific tool for Affinity Photo, but I would love to hear down in the comments below from you if you have an alternative to Lightroom that works really well at managing large libraries. So that's one of the big things for me is that we manage a lot of large libraries. And also, we can do some great editing in Lightroom Classic as well. So this whole thing with Adobe is an absolute shame um, that it's going on. It is good that we have alternatives. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you about what you use as an alternative to Lightroom. If you're committed to getting away from Adobe fully, what do you got in your back pocket? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. And I'd love to hear about some of the other applications you're using and how they're used as well. So feel free to make longer comments about what you're up to. And also what you'd like to see from this channel the different types of affinity photo projects that we're doing 
um, and how they come together so that you can get an idea. Is this the right software for me? All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by. And I'm glad that I kept this as a very short one. But put it in the back of your mind. What am I managing all of this with if I want to get fully away from Adobe?